Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find out the DTFT of the given x of n. So, the first problem is x of n is equal to u of n. For this we are going to find out the DTFT. So, the DTFT formula is given by x of e power j omega which is nothing but f of x of n which is equal to summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n e power minus j omega n. So, in the problem they have given that x of n equal to u of n. So, we know that u of n is unit step signal which is defined as 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0. Okay. So, I can write that x of n equal to 1. So, using this I can write u of n is equal to 1. So, which exists only for n greater than or equal to 0. So, in the formula that is Fourier transform of u of n. So, dtft I can say that f of u of n. So, which is given by summation n equal to. So, this signal x of n is u of n which is existing only for 0 to infinity. So, I can write that limit as n equal to 0 to infinity. So, general formula I have minus infinite to infinite, but our u of n exists only for n greater than or equal to 0. So, I can write this summation as n equal to 0 to infinity. So, what is x of n? x of n value is 1. So, wherever I have x of n, I have to substitute it as 1 e power minus j omega n. Okay. So, this equation I can rewrite like this summation n equal to 0 to infinity 1 into any value is that particular value. So, e power minus j omega the whole power n. Why? Because we have the formula summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n. So, when you substitute n equal to 0 it becomes x power 0 and when n equal to 1 it becomes x power 1. When n equal to 2 it becomes x power 2. Okay. So, since we have summation for each and every term we are using the plus symbol. Okay. So, it will not end it will go up to infinity. So, plus infinity so on. So, this value is 1. So, this value is x. This value is x square and so on. So, whenever we have 1 plus x plus x square and so on the series I can rewrite it as 1 by 1 minus x. So, in simple I can write that summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n is nothing but 1 by 1 minus x. So, using that here, okay. so if you want you can substitute and then you can write. So, when you expand that is substitute n equal to 0, what happens? n equal to 0 it becomes anything power 0 is 1. So, first value is always 1. Substitute n equal to 1 e power minus j omega. Substitute n equal to 2 e power minus j omega the whole square. Okay. And so on. So, it is looking like 1 plus x plus x square and so on. So, here the value x is nothing but this value. So, this is my x. Okay. So, I can substitute this formula as 1 by 1 minus what is x e power minus j omega. Okay. So, if you want you can leave with this or you can again simplify this. Okay. So, just multiply multiply numerator and denominator right e power j omega. Okay, e power plus j omega. See, here it is e power minus j omega. So, in order to rewrite it as positive power of e, I am multiplying numerator and denominator by e power j omega. So, if it is so, 1 so one into e power j omega is e power j omega and divided by 1 into e power j omega is e power j omega minus e power plus j omega into e power minus j omega is 1. Okay, so this is nothing but Fourier transform of u of n. So, you have to memorize this formula so that in inverse Fourier transform you can apply this formula. Okay. So, Fourier transform of u of n is e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1. Okay. And then so coming to the second problem it is u of n plus 2. So, I can write x of n is equal to u of n plus 2. So, for this I am going to find out the DTFT. 
so f of u of n plus 2 I have to determine ok so before that again what is u of n plus 2 u of n plus 2 where it will exist it will exist that is n plus 2 equal to 0 n equal to minus 2 so the value exists from minus 2 so from minus 2 the value exists ok so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so first draw the diagram of u of n plus 2 so i can simply write u of n plus 2 as the value is 1 which exists for n greater than or equal to minus 2 that is range of n is minus 2 to infinity okay so using this again what is the formula summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n e power minus j omega n so this is Fourier transform of x of n ok. So using this formula again how I can rewrite this value u of n plus 2 from where to where exists it exists from n equal to minus 2 to infinity and what is u of n plus 2 the value is 1 ok. So into e power minus j omega n are you getting so x of n general formula it exists from minus infinite to infinity but here our x of n is u of n plus 2. So u of n plus 2 value is 1 for n greater than or equal to minus 2. So summation I can rewrite as minus 2 to infinity. And what is x of n? Again the value is 1 into e power minus j omega n. So substitute in the formula. So I have n equal to minus 2. So first substitute that value. So minus into minus it become plus e power j omega 2. Next value n equal to minus 1 right so it becomes minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and so on ok this is the value of n ok so the next value is n equal to minus 1 so substitute n equal to minus 1 it becomes e power j omega substitute n equal to 0 the value is e power 0 is 1 substitute n equal to 1 so we will get e power minus j omega substitute n equal to 2 e power minus j omega 2 and it will go on. So here the first term is e power j omega 2 let me take commonly that term outside why because I have formula summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n in another way I can write it as 1 plus x plus x square and so on which is nothing but 1 by 1 minus x. So I require 1 plus x plus x square. So this term I require only then I can substitute 1 by 1 minus x. So in order to make 1 plus the term I am taking the first term commonly outside. So this will become 1 ok. So e power j omega divided by e power j omega 2 ok. It is nothing but e power minus j omega and then 1 by e power j omega 2 is e power minus j omega 2 ok and then e power minus j omega divided by e power j omega 2 is e power minus j omega 3 and so on. So definitely it will keep on reducing like this ok first term is e power minus j omega next is e power minus j omega 2 definitely it will be going on in a sequence ok. So it is e power j omega 2 so now it is looking like 1 plus x plus x square and so on ok. So I can write it as 1 by 1 minus. So what is x here? Here x is e power minus j omega ok. So this term is x ok. So I can write 1 by 1 minus x which is nothing but e power minus j omega. So again rewriting this term keeping this term as it is e power j omega 2 as it is ok multiply and uh, numerator and denominator by e power j omega it becomes e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 ok. So in simple I can say that Fourier transform of u of n plus m whenever it is added by some value I can write that it as e power j omega m ok. So here it is 2 so I am getting that value into what is Fourier transform of e of n e power j omega divided by 
e power j omega minus 1 ok like this I will get so here this is Fourier transform of u of n plus 2 so I am getting e power j omega 2 into Fourier transform of u of n ok so the next problem is x of n equal to u of n minus 3 ok so and again we know that Fourier transform of x of n is summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n e power minus j omega n what is u of n minus 3 definitely the value is 1 for n greater than or equal to 3 ok so in another way if you want you can draw the diagram so n minus 3 equal to 0 n equal to 3 so the value exists from n equal to 3 so 3 4 5 6 7 like this the value is 1 this is nothing but u of n minus 3 so if you want you can draw and then you can find out what is the value of u of n minus 3 so u of n minus 3 the value is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 n greater than or equal to 3 so using that I can write here so the Fourier transform of u of n minus 3 is summation n equal to this value exists for n greater than or equal to 3 that is n range is 3 to infinity so 3 to infinity ok what is x of n the value is 1 e power minus j omega n ok substitute n equal to 3 e power minus j omega 3 next value is 4 so 3 4 5 like that it will be going on so e power j omega 4 e power minus j omega 5 ok and so on so take as usual take first term outside so if you have e 1 plus x plus x square you can substitute your formula if you do not have take the first term outside and simplify your term so e power minus j omega 3 I, I am taking outside so this term will become e power minus j omega this term will become e power minus j omega 2 and so on so it is looking like 1 plus x plus x square and so on which is nothing but 1 by 1 minus x so here the x, ter x term is e power minus j omega this is your x ok so e power minus j omega 3 into 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega so again keep this term as it is e power minus j omega 3 multiply by e plus j omega both in the numerator and denominator so it become e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 so in general ok so Fourier transform of u of n minus 3 in general I can write it as e power minus j omega sorry in general if you take it as m ok so n minus m u of n minus m is e power minus j omega m into power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 ok so Fourier transform of u of n minus m is e power minus j omega m into e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 so here it is 3 so minus 3 so you are getting e power minus j omega 3 into Fourier transform of u of n that is e power j omega divided by e power j omega minus 1 ok thank you thanks for watching